Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. We're going to continue where we left off. We're still in the Canyon of Titan, and we are looking for the Diamondback Militia HQ. And I think... I don't, I'm not sure if it's over here or over here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Another yeah. checkpoint. How nice. Let's head back and just scope out this other area back here and just make sure we're not missing it by moving on too soon. Okay. Well, it's mountains. Let's go over here. I'm gonna tuck to okay, I think this is it. Mm-hmm. This is it. Okay, let's dig up that, whatever it is. All right, now, if you don't have the key, now, just, just as a reminder, we have a key to get in here. And the reason, yeah, we can see there's the entrance right there. Yeah, through the rocks make up a barrier, seem to be a different color from those throughout the rest of the area. You could swear you feel a faint breeze filtering through the cracks. So that's where it's at. Now, uh, if I remember right, you can, if you do not have the key, which we got from the mysterious stranger at the very beginning, of this area, right? That's where we got it. And we got it because we had a six smart ass, I believe was the requirement. But if you don't, then you can use brute force on this cart, something to that effect. And it, you can ram it into the door, but then that makes them hostile. So, or they come out and they start fighting you and you could talk to one of their officers and then they'll say, all right, all right, hold on, don't kill them or whatever. And then you can still get inside and talk to them. But I think this way where you just use the key is the way to do it. Use perception. We're not going to mess with that. Hmm. Select key. Yep. And use that here. Failure. Here? Success. Is this the secret entrance? Aha! So you still have to have the code, or can I just use it? Hold on. Examine. You'll need something. Okay, hold on, let's... Well, maybe we're supposed to hack it then to prove that we could get here, right? Stop where you are. Identify yourselves. Chill there, Lieutenant. Your names, now! We're rangers. Rangers? Wait a minute. I know who you are. You're the jacked up thugs who've been giving the monks all that trouble. <laughs> Very impressive. My boss likes the way you work. How'd you like to do more of the same kind of skulldudgery and get paid for it? Interested? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Now, you're gonna need to hand over all your weapons and follow me. They'll be waiting for you when you get back, but you're not getting through this gate pack in heat. Got me? Can't take any chances. Now, I'm trying to remember. I think you can say no, and you might have to beat them up a little bit, and then you end up getting to keep your weapons, but I'm just going to go ahead and give them the weapons. Great. Then come on through. Okay, now, do I have... Yeah, I've got hard S on there. And can I improve any more social skills? No, there's nothing else I can do, so whatever I have is what I have. Hopefully it's enough. Mm-hmm. A safe. Okay, everybody, come on. That's kind of cool. Dimeback snake. Well, they are the Dimeback militia after all, right? 
Now, I've never been um, friendly with Man, him enough these guys to get good gear. Yeah, Gotta get me some of that. Like they're talking about there, like Tax saying about the gear. I got some stuff from them in my last playthrough, but if you successfully do what they want, I guess you can get access to some really good stuff, which I never have. So I kind of want to see what that means, what that translates into. Like, how good is it? There are some 20 millimeter auto turrets and stuff in here, so you got to kind of be careful. Yes, you can fight all these guys if you want to. Hey, there's a shady, the shady figure guy. Let's go talk to him. Hey, Rangers, glad you made Welcome, it. Good, good. Rangers, damn glad to know you. All right, let's talk to him. Sadler, right? Hi, Sadler. I'm Captain Cliff Sadler, CEO of the Arizona Citizens Militia, also known as the Diamondbacks. Been keeping an eye on you since you entered the contested zone, and I must say, I like the way you've dealt with those crazy monks. Good to know the Rangers are still turning out quality men and women. I was worried when I heard you entered the canyon, but glad to have one last pain in my ass. You've certainly lived up to the image our field op gave us after he made contact with you. Very impressive. Now, Bradwell tells me you're looking for a little honest work. That's damn fine. I'm looking for a few honest men, and I'm willing to pay well for their services. You said, uh, paying their ass is an odd ring of truth to it. You feeling okay? Oh, that's right. You can give this guy hemorrhoid cream. Why, you cheeky sons of bitches? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I am Captain Cliff fucking Sandler. I... Oh, God damn it. Hey, we didn't mean any disrespect, sir. We're just concerned with your well-being. Oh, fuck it. I got hemorrhoids. <laughs> about it. They're debilitating. Just real fucking annoying. So, I don't remember exactly where we get that cream, but, um... If we give it to him, obviously you get some kind of reward or whatever, so we'll have to remember that. Let's see. Tell us about yourself, Sadler. That's Captain Sadler, Ranger. And that's all you need to know about me. All right, what can you pay? How's this sound? Free passage through the canyon once we're in control and access to our quartermaster at reduced prices. Plus, your pick of our one-of-a-kind pre-war weapons for you and each of your rangers. No charge. That locker next to me should give you a sense of what we can offer. Take what you want now, and remember that there's more if you pull off this mission. Oh, all right. Then hear me out. The servants of the Mushroom Cloud claim to be keeping the peace in the canyon, but that's a load of horse shit. Those wackos blow themselves up if anybody says boo. And now they got their thumbs on the trigger of a nuclear missile? How long before one of them has a divine inspiration and blows us all to kingdom come? Well, I don't disagree now, with you. I just don't think he's that much better. We're all using the Titan to keep the peace. It's just that right now the wrong thumbs are on the trigger. But that's where you come in. We're all ready to take over the temple except for one thing. The Titan itself. If we don't stop those monks from launching that nuke during our attack, it's going to be a very short engagement. Now, we tried before to get men inside to stop the launch, but none of them made it. But I think you could. Want the job? Yes. Now, here's what you got to do. How you get into the temple is your business. But when you're in, you got to get to the launch room, which has a code locked computer. Get any monks in the launch room out, then use this code scrambler on the new computer. When you do, a transmitter in the scrambler will let us know it's go time. Got it? Got yeah. it. Now, anyway. Goodbye, Rangers, and good luck. You can grab your gear from Bridewell on your way out. Come on, Rangers, follow me. Uh, okay, so we can get a tactical I'm vest. I'm confused. Do militias protect the people, or is it just another word for gang? Uh, in this case, it's just another word for gang. Where is the quartermaster at? Where is the quartermaster? I guess we don't get access to him yet. No. But we already got some free stuff, so... I'm alright with that. Maybe I'll just give them the nuke this time. Yeah, 
<laughs> I might, because I'm like, whatever. I'm not playing as Goody Two Shoes this time. I've done Goody Two Shoes several times. Ready to take your weapons back, Rangers? Yep. Here you go. All right, let's re-equip everything. Okay, put leadership on. Get this, get this. 3% crit chance. Yeah, see, this is just not worth it. The minus two coordination is what kills it. Yeah, I just don't see the value there. Okay, bear, put that back on, buddy. Your pulse rifle that's basically worthless right now back on. There you go, get that. And. You know what though? You can carry that. Yeah, that rocket? Why not? Put your hatchet on. There we go, tactical vest. That's what we need for you. That was, that was a good pickup right there. And you can put some grenades right there. Okay, and then Piz your weapons back on all right looking good all right let's check the logbook now captain sadler leader of the diamondback militia asks us to take the code scrambler into the template titan and use it to change launch code a nuclear missile silo stored in silo 8 with the monks unable to launch their warhead the dbm will be able to raid the temple so that's probably what we're gonna do but inside the temple itself, and if you do not want a spoiler, skip ahead in the video about a minute. I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, inside the temple, down in the, the kind of the bowels of the temple, uh, there is an item, a toaster, that you're going to want to unlock. It's going to give you a white item called depleted uranium. You give that to Mer Captain, the techie person back at the Ranger. HQ and you will be rewarded with the Gamma Ray Blaster, which is arguably, if not the best weapon, one of the best weapons in the game. And that's that's really the weapon that's going to carry you in the second half of the game. And it's a weapon that your energy weapon uh, person will use. So it'll end up going on Piz or, or Christy in my, in my case. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to get that. So you need toaster repair, like a six or seven toaster repair to do it. So we will not be going down there until for sure I've got someone that can do it. Which is Ralphie in my case, so at some point here I've got to go back and pick him up. Okay, let's see. So there's Outpost 3 right there. I mean, we can move over to the Temple of Titan area, we just can't... We just can't do everything. I think there's a guy over here somewhere that we end up talking to as well. You know what? Hold on. Let's go scope this out real quick. Did we already check all this out? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, let's head for Outpost 3. Hmm. Yep, we're back again. Uh, hey folks! Ow! Werewolf Wally here, and say, has anybody else... Okay, so here we go, Temple of Titan. Yeah, this guy right here, Dale, you can interact with him. Monk Gunner. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't, oh. I'm trying to remember if these guys are going to be hostile to us. Because we don't have a monk with us. Okay, they're not. Okay, just double checking. I don't want a problem. Uh... 
There's something over here. Isn't this the back entrance or something? Guarded by some raiders. Let's go see. Let's go look. Nope. Dieback Militia. So they'll let us in, or they should. We want to just go in the sneaky way. But I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to make a cut in the video. And the reason why is because I'm going to run all the way back through the Canyon of Titan and back to Ranger Citadel. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I need to sell, I need to re-equip, and more importantly, I need to pick up Ralphie because we really need toaster repair, um, or we will at some point. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of grinding, perhaps out in the waste, um, because I need to make sure he's going to have a high enough toaster repair skill so that I can retrieve that item that I mentioned earlier in the video. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll make a cut right now, and when we come back... We should be at the Ranger Citadel. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so you can see we're back here in the Ranger Citadel. Now, I've already uh, healed up. I've done some kind of basic stuff and gotten it out of the way. So everyone's healed up. I've also swapped out um, Rose, and we have picked up Ralphie. Now, you're probably like, well, wait, man, isn't Rose your primary medic? Well, she is in terms of surgery skill. So if there's something in the, that we come across where... Uh, you know, patching some up, someone up, an NPC or something, uh, and we need surgeon skill, then yes, we'll, we'll, we'll miss uh, potential opportunities there while we don't have her in the group. That having been said, this is the reason why redundancy is kind of nice. When we look at Christy, she has um, a level four field medic and she has surgeon, so she can use basic trauma kits, which is all we really need at the moment. And then as far as the uh, level four in field medic skills that allows her to use both types of med kits that we currently have, both three and four respectively. And I just transferred all of the medical supplies over to her, so we're fine. Actually, truth be told, uh, it, in some respects, we've become a little bit better uh, combat-wise because we have someone else that we can kind of send forward. Now, having said that, brass knuckles, yeah, not exactly that impressive. So we'll do a, a bit of shopping and see what we can do. We can also load him up with um, some explosives and stuff to throw. I mean, there's no reason not to. And he can hold a lot of stuff, so that's also nice. So we've got basically like a second pack mule now. All right, let's go ahead and sell off. We've got a ton of weapon parts. Yeah, 750. And another 750. Yeah, that deconstructor perk that we have on Bear, that definitely has paid for itself. Let's see. Yeah, sell junk. Uh, am I ever going to use this thing with minus two coordination? I don't know. I guess I can hold on to it. Uh, beer and snake squeezing. Sometimes there's some story related stuff for that, so that's probably worth holding on to for now. I don't think we need any ammo. Uh, Ralphie, do you have armor? Let's check that real quick. I don't think he really has anything. I haven't utilized him much. No, he has no armor. He really needs a weapon of some kind to be useful, other than just soaking damage for the group, which is in a way useful, but still. Okay. How much money do we have? Oh, 7,000. Okay. Well then. Um, I don't want anything heavy. I guess we could go with a bulletproof shirt for now. Let me see if we've got one over here in our storage locker before I spend money when I don't need to. Well, we've got a leather jacket. I don't want to put the combat armor on him because it'll slow him down too much. That's fine. We'll just give him the leather jacket. That'll be fine for now. Yeah. And let's see. Do we have anything else we can give him that would be worthwhile? He's already got a backpack on. Oh, my goodness. Well, that, that was not something I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Let's... Let's put everything back. Oops. Sorry about that, folks. I 
might take that dynamite, though. That's actually not a bad idea. I didn't realize I had spare dynamite in there. I also didn't realize I had this much spare ammo in there. Holy moly. I even have some advanced ammo types, like 7.62. I didn't realize. So that's good. Got some nice weapon mods I can still use, too. That's good. Alright, come on. Dump all this stuff. Almost. Okay, now, do you have that? Yes, you have the armor. Let's go ahead and grab that grenade. Let's grab that dynamite. Yeah, you could just be an explosives guy. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Now, you have a better melee weapon. Yeah, brawling, I mean. I think that's the best we can get right now, which is pretty sad, actually. When You know, when you compare it to the other weapons we have, Brass Knuckles is pretty underwhelming. 3.7 damage, that's pretty horrible. Okay, well, I guess his job will just be to soak damage then, for, for the most part. I guess that's fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and put that armor on. We can give him some of this, and then tack. Let's rearrange your stuff, shall we? Here, let's give him some grenades. Give him one of those dirty bomb things, too. I mean, why not? Okay, has anyone else got a rocket? Yeah, you do. You don't need to carry that rocket. We can give that to him. Okay, so his secondary... We could do this, actually. Go like that. His primary could be grenade, by default. And I can even buy some more grenades, because I've got plenty of money. So his default can be grenade, so he can do cover destruction for us and some AoE damage, and then his backup is a Sabat rocket. Yeah, I like that. That works. Let's go see Lieutenant Tan, then. Lieutenant Tan, where are you? I think you're back over here somewhere, aren't you, Lieutenant Tan? Never can't find... Here we go. I always have a hard time finding him. I mean, he's not, he's not that difficult to find, but for some reason for me, it's a challenge. Well, I'm, I'm somewhat of a Yahoo, so that would be the reason why. Alright. Give us, give us your stuffs. How much is a grenade? How much? $300 for a grenade? Well, how much is a rocket? How does that make any sense? So wait a minute. Let me, let me see if I get this straight. So the Mangler is... is How much? 153. It does 100 damage, 25 meter range, uh, 4 meter radius. Are you guys seeing this? Like, it doesn't make any sense. The only reason... The only advantage you have for a grenade is that it weighs less. Which I guess is a consideration, but not when you have high strength and you're wearing a military backpack. All right, well, I'll take these manglers and we'll just use those up because why not? And then I'll take this TNT as well. It's good for blowing up walls and stuff. Okay, goodbye. So what we'll do is we'll actually equip a mangler and I think that means after he launches one, the next one will auto load just like it does with thrown weapons. Not 100% sure that's the case, but We'll give it a whirl. Now this gives us some more options, though, in combat, which, you know, I like that quite a bit. Okay, I think this will do. We still have almost 7,000 bucks. That's nice. Okay, let's swap this back. The leadership. There we go. Sitting with an 8. Let's take a look, real quick look at skill points. You're sitting on 2. You're sitting on... I think the thought process was we're saving up now for another sniper level. I think so. Christie's got three points. Tack has three. His has one. Ralphie has five, and we'll grab another level of toaster repair as soon as we can. Okay, let's go. So what are we gonna do now? Go back to the to the canyon slash temple of Titan? No, that's not what we're gonna do, folks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go exploring out in the waste a little bit, see if we can't get us some 
random fights. So I'm going to do a bit of this on camera, I'm going to do a bit of this off camera, and the purpose is, is to get some additional levels for Ralphie to improve said toaster repair. Because I can't emphasize this enough. You absolutely do not want to finish the Temple of Titan unless you have at least a 7 or an 8 toaster repair. At least. Now, I, I say that because I don't reload. And I know that people like think I'm crazy or whatever, and that's fine. But it's just the way I like to play games. So there's always that sort of jeopardy. Um, now, if you are willing to reload your game, which I would imagine the vast majority of you are, well then it's, it's not that big a deal um, how high your toaster repair is, but it needs to be high enough that you don't just immediately critically fail, which I think means you need at least a six. Um, and this is to acquire um, that item in the Temple of Titan that then will allow you to get that energy weapon that I've spoke about. So you have to get that and then turn it into Mer Captain to get that special energy weapon, and you absolutely want that, folks. I know there's people that run without an energy weapon uh, person in their group, but I can't recommend it, especially on higher levels of difficulty. You really need one or two energy weapon people in your group, like at all times. In the second half of the game, because you're in the first half of the game, it's no big deal because you're fighting like mostly squishy targets with low armor. Non-conductive armor, so it's not a problem. It becomes a problem. It becomes a big problem in the second half of the game when you leave Arizona. Okay, let's see. Where should we go to fish for fights? I guess we'll go to the southwest. Nice that we can go anywhere now. Yeah, we have no problems since we've got high-level radiation suits, at least for now. Okay, attack. Oh, this is not the best spot to start on this map. It's kind of awkward. But we'll make it work. What are we fighting here? Oh, really? Okay, that's... Yeah, alright, well, let's just go out here and... There we go. These guys are pretty weak sauce, so... I don't need to really get fully set up to do to deal with these guys. Not really. Let's see. What do you got? You've got a pistol. What you, I can't quite tell. Are you melee? Okay, you're melee. You're melee. All right. Well, you're the lucky contestant then. Peace. this guy charging us like really come on man you don't have a chance what are you doing I think I can just kill this guy with a pistol or with a actually you know what scratch that we don't need to waste the ammo Go like this in turn actually you can't get there and strike really all right Who's next? Green Goober, and then Bear. Just shoot this guy, be done with it. Okay, Ralphie, go loot. Well, I guess there's stuff up here, we'll grab it. Alright, exit out. Yeah, here, we'll go down here. This is kind of a good hunting area. Down here in the southwest, near the abandoned railway. Yeah, this is a good, good area if you want higher level random encounters. And there's a nice, it's nice, it, not that it matters really so much for me because I've got a lot of water capacity, but it's nice if you don't that there's an oasis right here that you can utilize. 
Oh, that's one of our shrines, right? Let me look at the map. Yeah. I'm not gonna go there because um, I don't need to right now, and I kind of, again, wanted to do those sort of in like one video. What do we got there? Is that a weapons cache? Yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, that was pretty good. Circuit board chest plate. That might look cool. Extra large pack. As a reminder, you've got two types of, of backpacks. You've got the actual trinket ones, which actually do something. So let me show you. Just make it clear to people. So army issue backpack is a trinket and goes in the trinket slot. Uh, it's not a piece of clothing per se. So it doesn't even like it's not even showing up on his back. Um, but it has plus 20 water and plus 20 carry weight, which is the important part. This extra large backpack is just a piece of clothing. So, yeah. Just to make that clear, if I hadn't made it clear before. Someone had asked me in the comments about that. Give us a fight, we need a fight. Oh, another cash, nice. Oh, nice pickup. You always get the kind of weird radio stuff when you're when you're doing this. Oh, we can actually get around there, okay. Let's do it then. Why not? Nope, can't get through there. All right, move back out. Attack! Oh! Okay, now this is a pretty good example of where Outdoorsman is actually useful. So the reason we're starting this way and they're immediately on us is because we basically have no Outdoorsman uh, in the uh, in the group. Now, uh, for the first half of the game, especially the way my team is configured and weapons and things that I have, it's a non-issue. It doesn't matter. Uh, in the second half of the game, though, it does kind of become a consideration, so I may pick up some Outdoorsman for the second half of the game. Random encounters become obviously a lot tougher, so it it, it could be problematic. Being bunched up like this is not idyllic. All right, shoot this guy. There we go. Nice. And then why don't you relocate? Move up. Okay, we got a flank here. We'll be in the open after this, but... Actually, I don't want to be in the open. That gunner could actually hurt somebody. He spent all his movement. Or he spent all his action moving around. Oh, hey, I'm okay with that. When's the next guy up? Not till here? Ah, oh, we should be able to kill this guy by then, then. Here, go ahead and shoot him. Move up. Okay, hatchet that guy. There we go, nice. Let's try to shoot him in the arms. There we go. Not gonna be doing much of anything now. Or we can just kill him. That works too. Nice.
got a promotion there. Okay, cool. Let's call in. Oh, we got two promotions. Excellent. Echo one. Echo. Congratulations, Echo One. Okay, so on Christy. Do we push for the 10 computer science? I don't think so. We'll probably go for some more alarm disarm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alarm disarm. And she's level 19. Ralphie. No, not Ralphie. Was it Tack? She got that promotion. Oh, no. His. Okay. Well, I guess we just hold their points then. Yep. There's nothing for us to do with her right now. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, let's loot up. From an efficiency standpoint, we've been doing really well on like what we're getting in terms of ammo or medical supplies and whatnot versus what we're spending. That's always kind of an important thing in any roleplay game, but especially in Wasteland 2. Though I have to admit, there are less issues with ammo in this, uh, this version of the game, in the Director's Cut, than there was in the original Wasteland 2. It's a little bit more problematic. As a matter of fact, when I made um, my initial build a team video, which is, you know, this team obviously reflects that group, uh, when I did an updated quick start guide to building a team, I actually changed it up a little bit and switched to having a, another assault rifle user, which I think, you know, is is viable considering the available ammo. Okay, so what do we got here? And these guys are weak sauce. No problem. No problems. We got this. Do a little bit of setup. We don't need to go crazy with it. Attack, you can go there. Bear. You run down here without being seen? If you can. No, you can't. Alright. That was worth a try. Weapon jam. Sucks to be him. Okay, so we've got guy here, here. Ah, back down there. I knew there was more. Okay. No one behind us? No. Alright. Let's see. Why don't you try to get rid of that guy? There we go. Nice shot. Oh, okay. And then just set ambush. Not gonna be in range, so in turn. You can't get there either. That's fine. Copy Echo One. Echo, congratulations. Okay, another promotion. More brute force, I guess. It's that or save up for more demo. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna grab more brute force. Oh, bladed weapon. Right. Alright. Well, we can break it down, so. Miss any loot? I don't think so.
All right, well, you, you folks let me know in the comments below this video if you actually want to see me kind of just going around doing things like this, which is primarily going to be looking for random encounters, because again, I want to level up Ralphie a little bit. So if you want to see that, just like an episode of me fighting stuff, then let me know and I may do that. Uh, but what's more likely is that in the next episode, I'll go around and do all of the um, the shrines, because this group right here that I have right now is sort of the Im the most important characters to me. Like, I'm not like, for instance, Rose is not that important to me, so I don't really... And she's, her skills levels are, are high enough, so she doesn't really need the benefits of uh, visiting all those shrines, whereas Ralphie would. And then we also have uh, a couple different toasters that we need to open up, so I may do a combination uh, shrine slash toaster run video. Uh, but in any case, let me know what you think about uh, showing the random encounter stuff that I'm doing now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.